everybody. Um, it's bad and by popular demand we are going to be dealing with more roofs but a little more complicated. Um, people have asked for round roofs and corners and intersections and other bobbins so um, I'm going to deal with that. First off this is what most people will probably be familiar with when it comes to making round roofs. Um, let's just get up here. Oh, I can't get up there. Um, this is what MCE does as a round brush. Um, and if you want a glass dome or something, then that's probably the best you're going to get. It's well, it's just that it's the best you're going to get if you're just using cubes. But we don't want to use cubes, do we? It's nice as it's, it's quite round, um, in a sense of a in a spherical sense. But uh, we want a round roof, not a round dome, and that's a different matter entirely. Now, most of these things I have planned beforehand. Um, this I haven't, so we're going to be doing this on the fly. I've got an idea what to do, um, but let's just sort that out. Um, we'll knock something out and see what happens, shall we? Uh, first off, I'm going to put some half steps down. Now, there's no particular reason for doing it like this. I've just done it on all of these um, is, is it's a good start out. I mean I could put sort of cobbly half steps down here or I could just start with the half steps one in but it makes life easier to do that. Right next let's put in a row of these all the way around and see what happens. Um, normally if I'm doing round things I will pay attention to the circles template image which you should all be familiar with by now. Right, now we need to go up and go up another half. So let's do that. Um, I'm just going to pop that in there for now. Bugger. Um, oops, that's not where I wanted it. That's where I wanted it. I was so saying it probably wouldn't have made much difference. Um, and then we'll bam that round there. Pop another one of those there. Another there, it's actually quite a nice way of doing it because that gives us the basis for the next row up. Anyway, now this is where it can get tricky and we might end up getting a bit too square, but oh, tits. We'll see how this goes. Not too bad. <laughs> now, what we can do um, if we're worried about these things are a bit too square, what we can do is take out Oh you bugger. Uh Do that one, I want to do that one, and 
that one, and that one. And we'll replace them with half slabs now. Um, we can, if we so desire, also do it here as well. What we'll do is I'll do it on that one and that one, and that one and that one, so we've got half to compare with. Obviously the bigger the dome. Um, what am I doing that one? That one and that one. Uh, the bigger the dome, the well, like all things, the more. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like resolution, really, isn't it? It's the more blocks you've got to play with. Um, so the nicer you can make things, the smoother you can make things. You see, you can argue that that doesn't look right. It's tricky because I want to try and keep that other one. Oh, you see now what we could do. Let's take that one out for now. Actually, no, let's put that one back. Put that back. That there, that there. Oops, bugger. new mouse and the scroll wheel is a little overexcitable. That's what I wanted. I think that's quite nice, but it's got a bit of a ridge here. But we kind of constrained to that really. Ah you bugger done it again. But it's an option. I mean the the main thing is you want to try and get it going up half a step um each time. Now why is that? Donkey, donkey, that should be one of them. Let's pull over here. Mm, probably a bit too far away for that, isn't it? Really, let's get a little closer. Have a look at that. So you could argue that this point here and this point here and this point here could be taken out, but then it's not so round anymore, is it? Or you could add another half slab height here and here and here and behind that one to make them three wide. Um, I will say that there's not necessarily a right and a wrong. Um, it depends mainly on the size of the building, I think, more than anything else. Um, let's just come over here. Compare it with that one. Now, some of you may think that looks better. Some of you may think it doesn't look as good. Again, you know, there's no right, there's no wrong. Um, I'm trying to think. I think this is how I did the um, round roof on the end of my cathedral. Um, but it was basically that principle, was just go around it, um, and then go around it again, and then go around it again, and then go around it again. Uh, just getting smaller, and half steps up. Um, 
we'll leave this one for now and let's get on with these which are the standard roofs but corners now this is tricky because we are missing a fundamentally useful block and I've filled in most of the roof as you can see um, what we really want here is a corner block now when we're using step steps we've got a choice we can use half slabs like that or we can use full pieces. Now, I would say that full pieces are better if you're making sort of oriental type buildings. Um, so like that. Um, that's probably not a good example actually, it's probably a good example to do it on all of them, but I will do that in a second. Um, where's my blocks gone, you bugger? Half blocks, you're probably best off using four steps. Now that's very much a Yoda sentence construction, but um, You get a little jaggedy bit in the corner, but it is generally a smooth corner. Now, you can't stick down any torches on any of that roof, which is a bit of a bugger. Um, I can't remember if things spawn on stairs. I suspect they probably don't, but uh, I'm sure somebody will correct me. And they won't spawn on half blocks, so not the end of the world. Right, what I've done is I've got a flat end on this, on that over there. This I'm going to have a pitched end as well. So let's get our steps on, like so. Um, another block in there. More steps. I hate steps. They're so slow. Slow to build with. Bugger. Slow to dismantle. Just all around slow. Right. Okay, so again, let's put down half slabs. Mmm, sexy, no? this side let's put down four blocks uh, unfortunately we've come to the end of my flat area but no worries let's come over here and have a look at that see how lovely is that that's super great um that be Come over here. And have a look at that. You see, it's got more of. If you look at pictures of Japanese temples, um, and Chinese pagodas, that sort of thing, they've got this sort of flare up at the corner, which that can kind of replicate. Yeah, that little beep. I'm just going to have to go and check on that. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <coughs> there was uh, news about Beef's skin competition. Uh, voting is now open. Uh, it got into a bit of a hated debate. Anyway, um, internal corners are slightly different to external corners. Oops. Down a hole. Um, let's bring these 
things out. We have little choices when it comes to using steps. Um, half slabs clearly are not up to the job. Um, sadly, we do not have an internal corner step, which would be lovely unless you're using better than wolves mod, in which case you could probably build something using the old uh, circular saw thing. So we have little option but to put in full blocks. However, as the only extra piece is really that one corner square, it's not a problem. You can bung some torches on it if you like. Like this, we can put torches on here. Um, so those are your basic options. Now, if we go over to house number two, hoi, hoi, hoi. here we are using a half slab block method. Um, let's just fill in. Oh, shit on toast. Now, here, as you can see already, life's a lot easier. Well, it would be if I had some bits. These are supposed to be lasting forever. They bloody don't. Um, but there you go. Sweet as a nut. Nice and smooth. Oh! Jobs a good un, as they say. Um, oh. Who left that there? There ain't be no chickens. Alright, and again. Pitched end. on there should we so desire look at that lovely now in our corners um, again we're not going to get any major problems here It's just smooth sailing. Now, if we've got a T piece, you know, this is going to be exactly the same. Um, an inner corner is an inner corner at the end of the day. So, if you've got lots of complicated buildings joining each other, I think this half slab block alternating method is probably going to be your easiest when it comes to you know, doing this. Now, again, if you get the rear urge, you know, you can do that. And at the end of the day, you can do it how you like. But, uh, maybe you think that looks crap. I do. But, it's an option. Now, here is the block and a half roof. This is going to be a little trickier because we've got steps which are buggers and we've got blocks and, uh, blocks and half blocks which are easy. So, how are these going to match up? Well, 
we've got an option. We can do that. Or we can do that. That's quite sexy. Really. Let's get some red torches. Put that on there, hey? I mean, that's the only problem. But I quite like that. That's that's quite a nice, quite a nice shape. Moving down here, you can't really see, but uh, but yeah, I like that. The only problem with that is, of course, that. Uh, <coughs> It doesn't happen very often. I mean, if it, was a, if it was a deeper roof, a wider roof, then you might get another one of those up here somewhere. But generally, that's only going to be one off. Which is a shame. Because, as I say, it looks nice. Again, I'm going to put these corner bits in, and I'm going to put some little, little red torches on them. And there goes the beep beeps again. Someone's complaining at me. Hang on, a BRB. <laughs> So there we go. Um, I hope that helps a little more. Um, if you want to put, um, oh, I can't remember what they're called now. Windows that stick out of roofs, dorm, no, dormer, I suppose, or the other ones. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just. Um, you know, essentially that's that's your roof line. However, um, and that's your sticky out dormer window, whatever it's called. Then you know, all it is is some internal corners. Not tricky, really. Um, you may have, the one thing you want to make sure is the width from there to there is not bigger than the width from there to wherever the other side of that is. Otherwise, this will get higher, the ridge of this will be higher than the ridge of this, and then it will go over, and then you'll have problems connecting it. That's the only thing I will say. But other than that, um, I hope that helps. I was going to do something over here with this round one, but it was essentially going to be just that attached to a straight. 
but I'm pretty sure you can work out how that goes. You just bring it around how you like it and just carry it on straight into the distance. I'm sure you've got the brains to work that one out. Good. Alright. Um, if anybody has any suggestions of what else they would like to see, um, I've got a couple of ideas for more, but uh, in the meantime, hope that helps, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.